Scotty McClure. Excellent stuff. Welcome to everybody on YouTube, Twitch, and of course, Facebook. Very, very important. Saturday night, nothing gets past me. And here we are with our Scotty McClure phone in. So I hope you'll get to your telephones as quickly as possible. You should be able to see the number across the bottom of the screen there. If not, then it's 0141 Glasgow number and 6289795. If you've just joined us on TikTok, then a very, very warm welcome to you as well. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do, I say. You're watching Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster, the world's most humble man. And I've already said good evening, everyone, dinky do. Hi, Scotty, says the wonderful Susan Shaw. And good evening, Scotty Dinky Doo, says the wonderful Andy McCrory. Great to have you with us, Andy. Good evening, Scotty, says Stephen Menzies. Who's calling? You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Uh, Scotty, it's Professor Numpty Heat. I just thought I'd phone up. Professor Numpty Heat. How amazing. Oh, You're on first. Like hello. hello. You're on first. How good is that? First. You're first on. You've beaten Kareem. I've been Kareem for a change. <laughs> How are we? I'll probably be on last as well, beat David. Are you, are you dinky do? Oh man, what's going on for a good night tonight with the lekkies back on. Oh, the lekkies on. Ah, good. Did you pay the bill? Well, listen to my bill, it was the site. You know, the site went out. Okay. Somebody tripped the wire. Somebody tripped on what? Tripped on the wire. Tripped on the wire. What was the wire doing there in the first place? <laughs> what a carry on. Uh, Hannah, listen, I have to call because I'm a very busy man. You're a very busy man, Nubteed, but maybe we'll catch up with you later. Uh, I might have something to say then. Oh, you never know, think you do. Uh, I, I doubt it. <laughs> Right, that's not to you thinking you might have something to say later. How amazing is that? Welcome, welcome, I say. The wonderful Stephen Menzies, who keeps us all sorted out, running the railways for us. Well done, Stephen. Uh, good evening, Scotties, and the wonderful Jenny Nicholl. And hello all, says the wonderful Suzanne, one of the cleverest women in the world. Hello, you're live on Scotties for in. Who's that? Thank you, Joe Sky. Ah, well done, sir. Lovely to have you with us. That's two people have beaten Kareem tonight. Yeah, we should have lottery numbers, Scotty, for you know, like a little uh, tombola. A tombola? Yeah, a little tombola going up. First one to come on. Absolutely fantastic stuff. Our TikTokers have just joined us. Welcome to the phone in, TikTokers. Lovely to have you with us, and Dinky Doo. And the callers are we getting through in the night, Oh, well, not too bad. I mean, last night we obviously had a wee technical problem with the phones, but I think they'd been blown out by the number of calls. Definitely. See, these systems can't cope with the old the calls the way the old systems could. You're going to need more lines, are you? Well, I think eventually it'll come to that, but you know that obviously costs a lot of money, and McClure's not right. exactly flush. But we'll get there. So you, you, you know what you've got for the time period. Well, I think, Glenn, the 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 lovely thing is that with a lot of work and a lot of very generous people, we're actually on air. Definitely. Yeah. You see, so you've got to be thankful for small mercies. Exactly. Yeah, a good thing, really, isn't it? Absolutely. Uh, There's Ryan, Dinky Doo, Dinky Doo, good Ryan, evening. They're all coming on in TikTok. Everything's progressing in time, isn't it? Everything's moving along, and we've we've managed to run and catch up a bit. So if we can keep yeah. ahead of the game. You see, Scotty McClue, Glenn, has always been ahead of his time. Yeah. So I was having a conversation about doing what we are doing right now in 1998 with a techie guy right. and he was explaining to me now in those days virtually nobody had the internet Correct, and yeah. the, the the nearest you got was a big dial-up number that went bloop 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 bloop, bloop 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 and you couldn't use your phone so you had to say to your granny and your auntie fanny i'm just going on internet and they'd say you're going on what lovey no it's all right nan and I, I won't be able to take your call for a couple of hours <laughs> what's, up, 
what's, what's the laptop and what's the mobile phone doing these days, isn't it? No, different yeah, game I mean, altogether. Look, look at what processes you've got on the mobile. It's yeah. As good as a laptop. And you see, w when I think about it, McClue's been doing this now for, what, maybe 10 years? Yeah. You see, where if you look at the Facebook Lives in the, your days gone by. Definitely. You know, so, you so we're talking some serious business here, you know you what I mean? Do you like the way technology's progressed over the I love it. Years, I absolutely love it. I just wish I'd had it 40 years ago. I mean... Like you said, back in the 90s with Dalton. Yeah. Uh, all different companies and that. With Obviously, I'm going to mention no company names. But hey, hey, Glenn, you'll love this. Here's somebody on TikTok. What's up, lad? Somebody else. We need MC McClue Spies to invest in more radio Thanks stations. What about that? Let's just slice and all that stuff. Baby Ella's watching us with uh, from uh, Larry nice. Guy. Yeah, vegetarian yeah. lattice slice and a rich chicken sauce. Did you have a desktop uh, back in there? Did I have a what now? A desktop uh, computer. Yeah, well, I'll tell you a story. I set up a radio station in 1989. We launched it in June 1990. It's still on air and very successful 30 years on, right? Yeah. So all is good. All is good in the hood. You, now, af after that, well, wait a minute to tell you this. After that, a lad came round my house one night, friend, and he says, right, get your coat we're going out he says where are we going anyway he ended up enrolling us in a college course he uh -huh. says this is about computers i said i'm never going to need computers don't be daft yeah. he says no 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 you don't understand scotty he said where are the dinosaurs and i thought he's right you know uh, you're laughing at me aren't you God, sir, you've got, I'm having a good chuckle there. You're having a chuckle away there. You're laughing your head off. Do you think you prefer writing or digital? Oh, listen, listen, talking. Uh, for the last 10 years, I've been so frustrated because everything I've wanted to say, I've had to type it. Do you, you like the format? Do you, do you prefer the digital format? Or do you this? Oh, oh do, you, do you mean like writing a letter? <coughs> yeah, well, I mean, the problem is an awful lot of our proper education has gone out the window because uh, it's gone right out window because, well, yeah, yeah, and people are not talking properly. They're just sending little texts and things. Text talk. Yeah. I mean, do you think that's taking it out to the next generation then to... Yeah. It's going to lead to it's going to lead to problems, but if they can get on and people accept it, like punctuation's right out window. Uh, you've still you've still got to use your brain to put input in, though, ain't you? Oh, ah, you've got to know your stuff. You know, you've 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 got to keep going. But the technology is even going to move faster. <laughs> yeah. Both just keep on on top of it, whatever we can. I mean, you I mean, think, think about it. You used to write a letter, then send yeah. it. Right. right now, within a couple of seconds, your lawyer or your 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 manager or anybody can, can and then straight back we answer. Email in the day. I or text. Never mind email. Quick text. Text message. Yeah. I'm how much? How much did you bring in? Four hundred quid. Great. Exactly. You know. So you you track and trace. So you get yeah. you get a text that goes how much? You got four hundred. Great. That's business Thanks, done. Man. It's more processed than that. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, this this is the whole thing. So it's moving at some rate. Listen, I'm going to have to dash. They're going daft no, here. Man, Love you lots. Take it, take it easy, dinky do, dinky do big man. Ta -da -la. Take, it easy, big man. Ta -da. take it easy, la la. There we are from uh, Yorkshire, proper Yorkshireman, but uh, he's down in Boroughs. Now, can I call regarding this? Uh, what have we got here? Yes, you can. Uh, we're on YouTube and we're on Twitch. We're on all these things. You're live on Scottish Funny, and who's that? Oh, it's our boy. Our boy, Dinky Doo. Our boy, indeed. How are you doing, Scotty? I am doing amazingly, our boy. Thanks very much. Thanks very much for receiving my phone call. Not at all. Lovely to have you on. What can I do for you? 
I've been a I've been a follower uh, to yourself for many years. Uh, I think the last time I've actually spoke to you before. Right. Uh, uh, I think I briefly had a conversation with you uh, regarding house prices and yeah, and other variable things like that. Maybe towards the end of 2018, beginning of 2019. Wow, we uh, love it. So you're talking three years, yes. Yes, uh, yeah. And uh, I, I remember the night as well. Uh, I was I was drinking a few cans of cider that night, and I'm actually finishing off those ciders tonight in a, in a different house. How fantastic! Well done, you. At all. Well, it was just uh, it was just a week uh, to say. I, I still follow you on Facebook, Scotty. I say I go by Al Boy, but I'm I'm Ali you as well. And uh, oh, I know you, Ali, top man. Lovely, lovely. Listen. What was it? No, I thoroughly enjoy your chats. <laughs> what I was going to say to you is, um, you know, we're on YouTube as well and on Twitch now. I'll say, my, my fiance is a huge fan of Twitch. Right. And I've also, I've, I've actually said to my parents as well, because they are obviously, I mean, you're, you're more of a, a, a man from, from back in the day. Back know? in the day. And I did say to my parents, you know, I said, do you remember Scotty McClue? And my dad went, who? And I went, yeah, him. And he went, ah, Scotty McClue, aye. Think you do. Think you do. Like <laughs> <laughs> well, it's people, a lot of people actually know more about Dinky Doo than Scotty McClure. I know. Incredible. <laughs> Incredible. Art. Now, listen, what I was going to say to you, if your wife's a Twitcher, uh, Scotty underscore McClure, tell her to follow and get sharing. It'd be a great help. I will do. I will do. You know, she's, uh, she's currently out. Uh, she she suffers from a, a a brain condition, my fiance. You know, but she's recovering well. Good. And uh, she she she's, she's keeping well. And uh, I, I will definitely tell her about that. But it was nice speaking to you again. It's Scotty. lovely to hear you, Ali. And we send you strength and strength to your good lady. Yeah, we don't always agree, Scotty. That doesn't matter. Exactly. That doesn't matter. Eventually, you know, you will just see the light. Yeah, and the other thing is, the good, the, what I think a lot of people have actually forgot is the fact that you can disagree but still get along. Of course. Listen, if I had a fallout with everybody that disagreed with me, where would I be? Nah, you, nah, you, nah. You, wouldn't be, you wouldn't be sitting here talking to me. No, me, Scotty. no. No. So what we used to do, we used to take a good load of prisoners on the phone in and let them all go at the end of the night. Yeah. <laughs> I think a lot of people forget, Scotty, is we live in a day and age where, you know what I mean, there's a lot of political opinions thrown in, yeah. you've got COVID flying around. Yeah. You know, I, I personally get made redundant last year because of the effects of COVID. I'm yeah. an engineer. Sorry uh, to hear that. Now, listen, there's a lot of work out there for you. Yeah, but I got made redundant. I was in the same job for 14 years. Right. I moved on to building better things, you know, with help from my fiance. And, yes. You know, and, and doing different things. But there's a lot of different opinions about politics, you know, mm -hmm. politics comes into everything these days. You've probably seen that yourself. Everything that comes into politics, absolutely everything you can't. Walk out your front door without someone shoving some other political opinion. Oh, absolutely. From Westminster, from Holyrood, from yep. whatever, anywhere, you know, there's always some other opinions, you know, and I think social media has a lot to answer for that as well because, you, you, like, everywhere you look, whether it be Twitter or Instagram, everything, there's always got some opinions going on, you know, which I'm all for it. You know, I'm all for it, but they're not terribly good at backing them up sometimes. I always back mine up with the facts. I, that, that's why that's why I've always followed you, Scotty. You know? Because I don't always agree with what you say, but you can't argue with a fact. You, know, you can't argue with a fact, opinion. and also, you know, you might not agree with what I'm saying, but you will defend my right to say it. Of course. Of yes. Course. I might not agree with the fact. I might not agree with their opinion, but you can't argue with a fact. No. A fact is a fact. It's not up for question. No. You know, a fact is a fact. I mean, that is, and that's it. You know, you might not like the fact, but the fact is, and that's it. It's 
and that's it. And I like to back things up with the facts and go, there are the facts, but still you'll get the half-witted idiot that goes, what a load of rubbish. Because they don't know and they can't understand how you know. Of course. And you'll still, of what you just said in question there, you'll still get that idiot who goes, yeah, yeah even though you've hit me with some straight up facts, I will hit you with a counter fact. Yes. And the, that their fact is, in fact, utter nonsense. Absolutely. Absolutely. And the other thing is, have you noticed that if you tell the truth, they start calling you mentally ill, telling you to change your medication? Oh, no, that, that, that's the good old rounder, Scotty. Saying, saying that you're delusional. Yeah, you're delusional. You don't know what you're talking about. You've passed it, you've had it. I had it, all that nonsense, I've had that. I love it. <laughs> That all that stuff, absolutely. But fantastic, Scotty. I better go anyway. Well, listen, I'll, it's it's lovely to hear you and take great care of yourself and dinky do. Thank you, do to you, Scotty. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And you, Lala. Thank you very much. How amazing are these people? Quite fantastic. Now, what have we got here? We've got a lovely TikTokers, Larry guys, telling me that the little baby, four months old. She'll only sleep with her mummy's jumper at the moment. Can't believe she's four months today. This is a beautiful little girl whose daddy um, has been looking after her because mum died not long after giving birth. And mum and I were chatting away on here, uh, you know, obviously uh, just before the wee one was born. So there we are. And that's dad uh, on the phone there. That's fantastic. Who's this gentleman you're talking to? Lahub, that's just a guy who's random called in. I'm running a phone in right now on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch. And if you go on to Scotty McClure's YouTube channel, you'll see the phone in there, and you can join in. You'll see it says live, and that's who I was talking to. He's a Scotty McClure fan from a way back, because remember, I've been about 30 years. Donkey the Raver wants to call in. You can do Baby Ella just had a bottle and is nodding off now. Brilliant. Uh, he's away in his Todd, says Lahoub. Not at all, Lahoub. We're chatting away. There we go. Good evening, Scotty, from the Isle of Skye. Ha, kamra ha, u ha, kima, from the Skinox. Maha. Fantastic. Coming closer every day. DUP in the north's over. Now, um, Lahoub, uh, don't be saying that because remember, your day came 99 years ago. So you don't need to ever say that term again. I'm flying back to Lerwick to finalize our house sale, to finish off odds and ends on Wednesday. John, you are so brave. I send you love and I send you strength. All right, I know we've never met. It doesn't matter. That's what I'm sending you. Fantastic. There we are. And, uh, you know, Although the loss of Glesney may be just too painful to bear at times, what I can say is, what about the joy and celebration of being with her? That's what you need to think about. How lucky were you? Scotty, are United Ireland's closer than ever? Yes, that's what I'm saying, Sean. There's no need for this. Our day will come nonsense. Your day came 99 years ago. All righty. Evening, Scotty. Good evening, every day. Larky Daddy's laughing. Thank you, do red, white, and blue. A huge good evening to everyone. Looking forward to tonight's show. Thank you, David. Annette.i Scotty. Evening, Scotty, and everybody else. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Scotty, it's me, Glenn again. Oh, Glenn, my goodness. What are you doing, La? You've used I'm up I'm your calls. I'll give you a donation anyway. Oh, you naughty boy. You don't need to do that. Yeah, no, don't worry about it. Because when you do it. Oh, that's very, very kind of you, and thank you. Anyway, yeah. Thank you. Very good yeah, of you. Welcome. Nobody ever needs to give McClure a thing. No, but if if somebody's feeling flush, it's always lovely they can put in a quid. Yeah, definitely. I hope you didn't splash out too much of your hard earned. Sky is better than taking it to gambling and better than better than taking it to casino. Exactly. You'll get a better return on it. 
thousands. Thousands of a return. Maybe, maybe one day. Absolutely, yeah. lad. Listen, yeah, all is well. You have a little, you have a little flutter then, Scotty. Uh, no, no, not at all. At no. occasion, very occasionally, if I'm feeling flush, I'll do national lottery. Yeah. But that's it. No, I won't. Uh, I won't go at the gambling. I don't. I don't even know what I'm doing. We once got invited and got a press pass for the races. Oh. So we had a beautiful big white cloth lunch, right to the extent that the race was off. You know. It started, we could see the horses passing the window. Anyway, yeah. I'd gone to put a bet on. And because I didn't know what I was doing, I goes up to Bookie. I says, yeah. can I have five pound each way, please, on uh, oh, yeah. on Butcher's Pop, right? Or whatever. And he goes, yeah, well, give us another five quid then. <laughs> I only had a fiver. And I thought five pound each way would be win or lose. Exactly. There's only, Scott, there's only one winner in Bookie's in there. Yeah, you know, yeah, Bookie himself, la. Exactly. You, the tic tac toe thing at Greyhounds. That at uh, the Greyhounds, that's the one. Yeah, that's uh, that's poor man's horse racing, isn't it? With tic tac. Uh, they do that tic tac. Uh, the tic tac, not the tic tock. The tic tac. Uh, the old tic tac. Uh, All that stuff. The winning at Greyhounds, I think. Yeah, yeah, absolutely fantastic. You're going to lose more money that way, though, are you? Oh, of course you are. I mean, the bigger they are, the smaller they are, putting more money on a favourite, and then an underdog goes on wins. I remember a lad telling me, I hope this isn't too coarse for some people, but he says, he says if you go to dogs, you keep an eye out and see if dog does a number two. <laughs> he says, if he does, back him, because he'll be a couple of pounds lighter. <laughs> Listen, I I once the, the money I put in that horse, the vet's Land Rover beat it. My friend said he once backed a horse and it fell in the paddock. He says to me, I've given a lot of money to sick animals. He says I didn't know they were that sick when I backed them. Bloody hell, <laughs> I'll tell it. So then. It, they are, aren't they? They always are, Glenn. But listen, that was very, very kind of you. You're welcome, Scott. And uh, you're very kind of you. Much appreciated. Work, well, we'll have a catch up later. Definitely. And she's one first step, by the way, Scott. Uh, oh, fantastic. She's some girl, eh? Yeah, she's doing well, isn't she? Yeah. She's in the 20s or the 30s. She certainly is, eh? Yeah. Dinky-doo. Dinky-doo, Scott. Take it easy, big man. See you, Lala. Take care of thee. Uh, Ta-da now, so there, there we are, that's our Glenn, very kind, he's made a donation, only give money to Scotty McClure if you're feeling flush, I'll use it for equipment, now here's a half wit, Jonty says, hi Scotty, isn't it past your bedtime, Jonty, never assume everybody else has your lifestyle, all right, I've been a fan for so long, is there any chance we could have the number to phone in please, of course you can, that's it there, you can go on YouTube or you can go on Facebook or you go to Twitch and watch it live. 0141628 That's number. And you can phone in, guys. No problem at all. And uh, subscribe on YouTube. If you've got a Twitch account, go on to Scotty underscore McClue and follow me. All right? Because that's going to go very, very big as well. Scotty, thank you do, everybody. Thank you for all these likes. I've got two and a half thousand likes. Now, who else have we got here? If you were in your 20s again, could you give us a good tip for life? Yes. Don't change a thing. <laughs> Go with the flow. There we are. Uh, that's the stuff. Good one, Lahu. Uh, now, what have we got here? Scotty, I'm putting spaghetti in the bride tonight. You're invited. Geodog. That'll go up like petrol. Don't put spaghetti on the braai. I'll come and have a braai with you, though. Scotty, are United Islands closer than ever, says Sean. Somebody else says a United Island will never happen. Hi from Green Oak, says Wemo. Wemo, lovely to have you with us from the Green Oak Tree. How fabulous is that? You're watching Scotty McClue, first lord of the internet, with a phone in. 
get ringing as soon as you possibly can. Uh, there we are. Huge evening, everybody. Looking forward to tonight's show. NG Mills, good evening, Scotty, and everybody else. How amazing is that? Hello, Scotty, says Vaughn. Annette says, Scotty, it's the Soup Dragon. Should I give you a call and drive you mad? Of course. Of course you shall. We mostly have our cap in the frame. You're too close to the camera. We can't do anything about it. You're live with Scotty's phone, and who's that? All right, Scotty. Can I, can I tell you? What a funny voice you've got. I don't believe you're genuine. So there we go. Strange setup. Right, that's it. Your life is Scotty's phone in, who's that? Hello, right, Scotty. It's Greg Kelly. <laughs> oh, lot of nonsense. <laughs> right. Uh, stay away from the gambling. The best pal's the penny in your pocket, has it, David? You're killing me. You're so funny, says Suzanne. Dinky do from Florida. Cheers, Scotty. Scotty tried to phone you when you get the time. Phone me. No, no, I'll not get the time rap. You're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? It's me. It's the Soup Dragon. Soup Dragon, how lovely to hear from thee. Hello, my darling. How, how are, are you, my love? It's so good to hear you. Uh, hey, guess how long it's been? You've done what, my love? It's going to be about 25, it's going to be about 30 years ago since the last phone to you. Yeah, it must be, I think. So are you the Lancashire Soup Dragon? I am. Right. I'm the one from Bolton. From Bolton in Lancashire, lovey. Yeah. So I would think it's going to be at least 28 years. It's got to be. It's got to be. Isn't that amazing? I'll tell you something else as well. Yes, lovey. You, we used to meet and we used to have like, you used to have like the, uh, the parties, and I've got a picture of you and me having a big kiss at the meeting. How fantastic. Oh, we well, love it. You are, you've never changed. No, darling, I'm just the same. You know, obviously, I'm a little bit older, and you'll be the same age. I know, but we, we did have some fun. We had a lot of fun, lovey. It was fantastic. And we had, uh, listen, we had some good chats as well. And I proper argued with you. You really, did. really good. You wouldn't put up with any nonsense. I'll tell you uh, what's oh. amazing. See that oh. phone in on Red Rose Radio? Oh, uh, yeah. No, it wasn't Red Rose. It was Century. Oh, it was Century. Of course it was. That's right. That was, that was the one. Because we used to have the parties, didn't we? That's right. That was an absolute belter. That, oh. Uh, and it was, oh. An absolute, well, yeah, yeah. And the parties were at Camelot. Parties were at Camelot, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And we had one at uh, Martin Mere. That's right. Yeah, just up that way. And uh, what happened? One Sunday, they blocked all the roads. All the people coming to that, it blocked. Yeah. The, it, it backed right up the motorway. Just out of interest, are you? Is it still the same? Uh, Checkered flat cap you're wearing. Yeah, same one. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> 29 years old. And I'm going to show you. <laughs> Hang on a minute. I'll swap. I'll swap my cap. I keep a spare one in case one breaks down. <laughs> and I'm going to show you this. Right? Look at this. Dimner, Hogs of five. The what, lovey? Fred Dibner. Fred Dibner. Yeah, Fred Dimner. Yeah. I saw Fred as well because he's quite local to me. He was only. He was. He was bolted steeple jack. That, that's right. Well, he went to bed with his flat cap on. He did, and so do I. And he had. Yeah. Do you remember he had it? Well, it helps in winter. You see, it saves on heating. <laughs> and then sometimes he stands on the on the like the bedpost at the back. Absolutely, and. Uh, Sometimes it goes a bit squint in the morning. <laughs> you think I'll have to get up and straighten my cap and go to work? I, I, oh, I tell you. You know, I've been looking for you for ages. Wow. I have absolutely been looking for you for ages because me and you used, we used to have proper scraps. Proper scraps. Proper scraps. And you proper always scraps won. You always had to win. Uh, you had to have last oh, word. I always do. <laughs> I, I'll tell you what, the 
is a lot of God is a lot of happiness the last folk to you. Hey. They're there and everywhere. Have you had a bit of gin and tonic under the bridge? Yeah, I'm just drinking one now, actually. Lovely. Hey, oh. yeah, yeah, because Fred had, I think it was F. Dibner, Steeplejack, Bolton. Yeah, yeah, well, he used to live um, off Cattle Street. Right. And that's where they actually put his house up for uh, auction. And it's a shame, really, because he, he had such a lot of memorabilia in And I was going to say, is that where all the old workshop and everything yeah. were? Yeah. Lovely. Right, yeah. Proper stuff. Yeah. And it just, I don't know, it just got sold off. He was such a humble man, though. He used to, uh, you know, he knew exactly what he was doing, and he did programs with old skills. And he would well, say he, he would did. say to somebody, can I have a go? And he was spot yeah. on with it. He did, because he was, he, he was interesting, and he looked, in, he looked beyond things, yeah. and he looked at things, and it's like, when you watch these old films, I mean, God, Steve, I'm still with Steve. Yeah. Steve, Steve watches all Fred Dimmer's um, films and everything. Yeah. And when he when he climbs a chimney, he never. He, he, I'll tell you what, health and safety wasn't even included. No, there. he was probably tying his trouser belt onto the ladder. Yeah, yeah, and he'd be smoking, he'd be going up the chimney. Yeah. And then he'd be had. As he went up, he put another ladder up, tied it with rope, and then he'd carry on to the top. He'd stand on the top with no safety harness and no. nothing. And then he'd, he'd rummage all the way down, and then he'd, fire, he'd put his props up under the under the towers, and he'd just fire them off, and he'd just... So he'd clever. And all, I'll tell you what, he was such an interesting guy. That, it that it was so clever, I'll tell you. My favourite yeah. is the one... When he brings the chimney down, they have to clear a whole area, everybody out their houses, all the cars out the road, because they weren't sure which way it was going to fall. And yeah, it comes and he down. Had his yeah, he, he, always, he, had his he blows his hooter yeah. and then he runs. Yeah. And then when it comes down perfect light, just exactly where it should, he turns around to the camera and he goes, Did you like that? Yeah. I think <laughs> I got Stephen no. Oh, I don't think you heard that one. He probably didn't yeah. hear that. I think it was, I think that one was Kurzel. Ah. Well, you see, when I was wee, my first trips to Bolton and Oldham, the place was covered in chimneys. Yeah. Well, we had them all because, like, the north was, like, full of, like, cotton mills and, yeah. you know, had all the, all the mills in it. Yeah. And the, uh, the last one, I think, that went down, it was Agecroft. Yeah. Took the towers down in Ashcroft, but they also took the towers down. At, I think it was uh, this Curzel Mill. It's, correct me if I'm wrong, somebody can ring in and tell me. Well, I can remember going to the art centre in Oldham in 1980, and yeah. virtually every chimney was still standing. Yeah. Well, the ones I remember, there was some Curzel. And there was some at Kersel. Right. Salford. And then you had Agecroft. And the ones at Agecroft, there was a guy, and I'm sure he used to breed koi carp. Right. You know, when you've got, when you've got like the towers, and at the bottom you had water switching around the bottom. Yeah. Well, because it was so warm, it used to breed koi carp in it. Fantastic. I and love I it. Now, oh. Soup Dragon, don't you leave it so long next time. Because another 28 years, I'll be knocking on a bit, you see. <laughs> yeah, but you're not doing any more parties. You're not doing any more, not like, meets and greets. No, no, we're not, we're not doing that at the moment. No. But it's it's just great that we're back in business. We only started yeah. a couple of weeks ago. I, I'll tell you what, I, I know, because when you started, it popped up on my phone. I thought, Brilliant. Yeah, there he is. And it's lovely to speak to you. Oh, it's always a privilege to talk to you, I lovey, know. I'll tell you. Oh, I'll tell you, I've been here, there, everywhere. And tell I'm Steve I'm asking for everything. him. Well, listen, we'll get more of the story as time goes on. Yeah, well, I've listened to you. You take care, love. You look after yourself, Angel. All right, oh. a big hug to you. Oh. Take care, darling. Bless okay. you. See you, Angel. Night-night. <laughs> Bye.
Bye, darling. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Bye, -bye. <laughs> oh, fantastic. What an angel that is. She's amazing. That's a lady I christened her the soup dragon about 20, 25 years ago. Scotty, the calls need to keep flowing. There's no need not to phone the big man. My mum's listening as well, says Scott. She's from Danoon. She loves you to bits. You've made her day. How fantastic is that? Correct, Glenn. Scotty, I'm so sad to hear you tell the sad passing of Anna, who called Nation Radio, a lovely lady. David, yes, I didn't get a chance to tell you properly because somebody came on the phone. But yes, Anna sadly passed away. And it was Linda, the lovely accordion lady, who Anna had found for us. And uh, it was Linda that actually told me that, uh, that Anna had sadly passed away. And she was so lovely, a beautiful lady. I was so privileged to have met her. Thank you, do, Scotty. This is the wonderful Alan Brown in Washington. Alan, thinking about you, uh, and especially today on the anniversary of 9-11. My mum, says Stephen Menzies. So there we are. Your mum. Tell us more, Stephen. There we are. <coughs> I've been a fan for so long. A soup dragon's your mum, Stephen. Uh, incredible. Been a fan for so long. Is there any chance you could have a number to phone in, please? M3899. Go on YouTube. Then it's there. Fantastic. You know, and, uh, you know, do come and join us. You're very welcome. We just knew the TikTokers would like to be part of it. My mum, Sandra, just got out of hospital. Can you say hello? Uh, be better for her. Yes, I can. I got name, Jeff. <coughs> Doing the swanny. Scotty, have you got the heating turned up too much? I have a bit. I have to be honest. I turned it down before I came on. You're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hi, good evening, Scott. Hi, good evening, Scott. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Who's that? Uh, my name's Rick Peterson. I'm from Peebles. I'm watching the show today. Rick from Peebles. Lovely. We just need a first name, Rick. It's just to get a handle for you, so I've got oh. something to call you. But that's lovely. Oh. And we love Peebles. Oh. Oh, no, don't worry. It's no problem at all. As long as you're happy, I'm happy. It just doesn't matter. But we tend to just do first names. Oh, yeah, that's fine. That's fine by me. Um, I'm just calling to say I'm um, a huge fan of John Savage and with Fred Elliott and Cornish. Well, John Savage. Great man. Now, what a character. As a fellow TV man yourself, Scott, you've got your thoughts on Fred Elliott, the character. Lovely character. Lovely character. I say, I say lovely character. And um, Roberts, that, that, that's right, that's Fred. And, uh, you know, tremendous guy, John Savadin. I'll tell you a lovely story. Well, it was it was quite a sad story, actually. But uh, it's so typical of, uh, of, of uh, uh, John. And um, they were acting, him and, do you remember Roy Hudd played The Undertaker, Archie? Do you remember that? Well. Hello? Are you disappearing off mic? I remember it well. Remember it well, yeah. So, um, what happened, they were filming it in Coronation Street, and Archie had gone to see Fred, who had died. And Fred was lying in his coffin. Okay. And Archie was quite sad about it. And then Roy Hudd, the actor, took a heart problem. And uh, John Savident had to wake up from death and go, hang on, what's that? Are you all right? And they had to get him out the coffin to help Roy Hudd. Out the coffin. Out the coffin. <laughs> out coffin. I'll have to get out. You know, and that was a genuine story. That's a, a great story. Scott. I, met, I met the man once in Harvey Nichols, Edinburgh. Right. Just by chance. Big, big, tall chap. I had a five-minute conversation with him, and he, uh, he gave me his autograph. I was a happy man on that day. Lovely. Well, I'll tell you, if you want to see another version of John's work, uh, did you ever watch the film with Anthony Hopkins, Remains of the Day? I've not seen that, no. Right. It's based on a big house, and it covers the appeasement movement in the 1930s. When the world came to the house, Anthony Hopkins is the butler, Mr. Yeah. Stevens, and Emma Thompson is the housekeeper. 
Yeah. yeah. And it's just yeah. the most amazing movie. Christopher Reeve was in it as the American ambassador. Yeah. So oh, it's it's oh, it's a fabulous movie. If you get a chance to see it, Remains of the Day. It's based on a novel. Definitely. And John Savadin's the doctor. And he's part oh. something like uh, old Mr. Stevens, Mr. Stevens' father, comes to work at the big house. He's been a butler all his life as well. And he takes not well and they get him up into his bed. John Savadin yeah. arrives as the doctor and goes up to see him, comes back down and he says to Stevens, he said, uh, your father's had a stroke. And he said, what age is he? 75-ish? He said, I believe 74 or something like that. Yes, indeed. He said, well, if you can just keep him comfortable, do call me if there's any change. You know, that sort of thing. And it's just this incredible professional underplaying, you know? Yeah. Oh, Scott, I need to go. You do? Yes. Lo lovely talking to you. Love to peoples. I think you do. There he goes. Fantastic stuff, right? Amazing calls we get on here. That's not the code of Scotland, Steve. That's the code for Glasgow. Glasgow, 0141. Scotty, have you got the heating turned up? Well, I did have. It's down now. Nobody can be sure whether or not it will happen, says La Hoop. There we have. Fantastic stuff. Scotty, what's the badge on your bonnet? That's the Scotty McClure badge. Scotty McClure, dinky do. Can you see it? There it is there. Fantastic. MJ, hello, Scotty lad. So full of subtext from their acting. Uh, brilliant, brilliant film. Yes, indeed. Lovely, lovely stuff, Alan Brown. Uh, great to talk to you, Dinky Doo. Love you, Scotty. And by the way, you have mellowed or have not fired up the pistols yet. Oh, no, Annette, I'm getting so many lovely people phoning in. We're just having a chat. It's something different because with the pandemic, have we lost our ability to laugh and to enjoy our life? That's what I say. My uncle was from Duntocha. I know Duntocha, uh, just the other side of Clyde Bank. His cap says, Dinky Do, it's his radio cap. Yes, I swapped it. I've got another one. I'll, shall I swap it back? <laughs> there it is. There's the original, 29 years. Uh, the ladies loved him. His wife was a supermodel. Yes, indeed, absolutely. You're sweating, Scotty boy. You feeling the heat tonight? Happy Saturday, Brun. Always sweating. The lights are so bright. There we are. That's what it's about. What are they talking about? All sorts of things. He kept the old skills alive, did Fred Dibner. First ever mechanized mill was in Johnston in Scotland. Aha. And uh, wh whose was that? I would like to hear more because that's very close to Kilbarken, where you had the weavers. They are talking sense. Scotty, have you got the heating turned up? John, the heating's down now. Stop panicking. Have you ever thought about selling your badges? Larry Guy, I told you. One of them went one night at a charity auction for 500 quid. Used to listen to you on Century 105. Good times. Dinky do from Stuart. Thank you, Stuart. Pan low for plain breed. What are you talking about? I had plain breed. P plain breed. Plain breed. You know, pan low for the crust cut off. The guy from Benidorm took the undertakers over when Archie died. That's it, Glenn. Aye. Scotty, hope you're well. Hope the show goes from strength to strength. Greg, I think it will. Lovely to hear you on. Fantastic. Give us a call. No squeeze box. Yes, we've got the squeeze box. Of course we have. YouTube just freezes. It shouldn't do. Uh, Fred's a genius. I say. I say. Yes, best sell line that. Is he still alive? John Savident. I think so. I'm not sure. We need to check that. There we are. Good movie. John was. Uh, yes, amazing. Following us on here. Scotty opinions on the Alba conference. Rejecting the monarchy, Halba. That I've noticed they've changed the pronunciation. Any rejection of the monarchy will mean zero independence. Independence will fail because if you uh, don't want the monarchy, then you're going to isolate 50% of the voters for starters. And a masterstroke 
would have been for the nationalists and the Greens to 100% adopt the monarchy. Then nobody could criticize them. But I think they've missed that particular bus. And if they have done, independence will fall. You know, that's the problem. So that's what I think about that. So if they're rejecting the monarchy, Tai Talk, then I'm afraid they're on borrowed time. You're muted. I'm not muted. You just can't hear me. I think that's the problem. Certainly not muted. There we are. Can everybody hear that? Didn't you do everything well? Uh, I can't hear you. Well, can everybody else hear you? Good evening, sir. Didn't you do, Scotty McClure? Can everybody hear on TikTok, guys? Uh, the Ling Morris to rest on Corey. Brilliant character. Norris was a fabulous, fabulous character. Do you know that gentleman was a director of theatre, I think, in Scarborough, if I remember right. So there we are. Loud and clear, says Suzanne. Yeah, these are maybe half-wits. Uh, there we are. Steve from Eau Claire. Have we got a room tour? Well, you're having a room tour. It's a bed sit, and I'm sitting on the bed. And when I get off the bed, I'll put it back up against the wall. So that's it. Good evening, young sir. Good evening, military girl. We salute you. Fantastic stuff. Yes, no issues at all. So these are just half-wits that say they can't hear because the retrolls, they don't know how to handle a proper live stream. Indeed. Fantastic. Yeah, these half-wits. Uh, MC McClue's Pies sold in Scarborough. Everything. McClue's Pies are all over the world. Good evening, Scotty Dinky Do. Good evening, Stephen. Lovely to have you with us. Top man. That's fantastic. I'm not getting a rolling feed. You should, Annette. Uh, what are you on? Are you on YouTube or Twitch, I say? What am I seeing with my eyes? Brock, you're seeing Scotty McClure with your eyes. The first lord of the internet. Hi, everyone. Hi, Greg. Uh, Greg, give us a call. Did you try and call earlier? Uh, there we are. Kind of sus. You're kind of sus, Dapper. Dapper Duck is kind of sus, folks. Give him a wide berth. In fact, we might just actually ban him. Send him down the swanee. There's Dapper Duck gone, guys. Bye, Dapper. Lovely. Fantastic. Hey, archaeological excavations uncovered some Scottish soldiers' skeletons. Aha, Geodog, Amajuba. How far back are we talking? There we are. Uh, I did try to call Scotty. Did you, Greg? Yes, try again, La. Uh, Mr. Blue Skies joined us. Hi, all. Hi, Mr. Blue Sky. Lovely to have you with us in Dinky Do. You're watching Scotty McClue. I can't believe we've only got 12 minutes left of the phone in. How incredible. Uh, so there we go. What do we got here? Yeah, all seems to be well, guys. Everything seems to be happening all right. Yeah, there we go. Wonderful. Right. Now, okay. I'll just close that. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hi, Scotty. David, how are you? you David, right? how are you doing tonight? David, is this not an incredible show tonight? Uh, amazing. Thank you. I had a wee woman speaking to uh, someone pretty years ago, and that is amazing. A friend of yours. That's well, no, she's a call. She is a friend, but she's a caller to the radio that station is, on Century twenty odd that, years ago. That is so good. You know what I mean. You know, and I haven't heard from her. I used to call her the Soup Dragon, and her and I used to squabble on air. <laughs> Brilliant. I mean, she was talking about things like. She, was it some kind of party with pictures, you know? Yeah, well, what we used to do in these big radio stations was have a I, public party. And I we'd go and know. meet all the listeners. That's amazing. And she's still, she's going down, and that's exciting. So she's, everybody's getting to, to, to find out you're coming back. You yes. Know I mean? you and know and, what and, and I, the word is obviously getting right. I'm amazed how powerful this oh. phone-in is already. You know, yeah, yeah. and I, I, I need friends to just call Clay phone down, uh, go for the page anyway. I'm a second one, I sent you some now. Well. You certainly I, did, and I was trying to find there's usually a wee facility that says thank the donor, 
And um, for some reason, I couldn't find that. So I'm so glad you phoned because I can say yeah. thank you in person. It's so sorted. I sent you some cash. It's so I kind of you. Doing. It's so very kind of you, David. And thank yeah, you. I'll be, doing, I'll, be, I'll be doing that as costing you every week, okay? That's fine by me. No, That's no, no, no. Don't be spending all your pennies. It's just so good of you because I've it... Got it. Better it. Well, as I said to Glenn, you'll get a better return. Yeah, of course. You know what I mean? Uh, and I don't, I don't mind sending you pennies. No, but it's lovely, David. Because it's okay. It's, it's, lovely, it's, David. Okay. it's so very, very kind of you, you know. And I, what I'm yeah. going to do, I'm always upgrading the equipment, wee bit by wee bit, you see. From the Scottish to the end of the day. You know, I love you, I respect you, right? That's what I'm saying. You know that. And I say to them, what I do, I do like this, David. I say, excuse me, see that wee bit of software? How much is that? Yeah. They go, well, that's oh, £230. Yeah. I say, oh, I couldn't go to that. Amazing. Have you got anything yeah. around 150 They go, well, uh -huh. it's not quite so good. I said, no, but would it get us by, you know? Exactly. That's and you see, David, the lovely thing, as I said to Glenn, he was going... Oh, you should do this, get more lines in, more lines. We will do, but yes. the lovely thing is we're on air now. Uh, yeah, yes. So yes. we're no longer saying someday I'll I'll come back and do a phone in. Yes. Uh, we're actually doing it. We're doing it. As I said, don't worry about radio, you're doing it now. We're doing it now. And, and you know, I mean, it's so interesting. I've had two I emails today from radio stations Saying, I yes. think we should talk. Ah, that's great. Right. You right. see? Okay. Very interesting. Yeah. Just because what they're actually saying is, right, McClure's not getting all that to himself. We need a slice of it. They're getting a bit careless. Aye. But it's, <laughs> it's a bit, but they're like wains. Do you know when you get wains? A toy can lie in a cupboard and then a wain yeah. finds it and plays with it. Then a wee brother wants it off her. You know? Yes, yes, I know it's fun, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's it. And it's the same with the dogs. See, when I have dogs visiting, your own yes. dog's maybe got a plastic bone that he hasn't bothered with for a few weeks. If the other dog finds it and picks it up, oh! <laughs> up in a blue light. I know, I know how these people work. They're all jealous and spitting dummies out. I know. Spitting the dummies out their prams. Right, before I go, I'm, I'm taking the boxes, uh, gammon and hot dogs and corned beef, right? <laughs> Fantastic. What a great man. Right, and I love you. I love you to bits and dinky do. Bye, Scotty. And thanks again, Davey. Bye, bye. Tell John I'm asking for him. I won't do, son. I won't do. John, it's me Dinky do. <laughs> They're fantastic. That's our David. How amazing is that, guys? Night, Greg. Susan, good night. Good night, Scotty. Good night, Susan. Uh, Mike Baldwin says, great. Yes. Uh, Gary Watt for Steve McDonald. Amazing, Greg. Incredible stuff. Cool, says Glenn. Uh, Mr. Dinky, do you like Bourbon biscuits? Of course. Everybody likes a bird bond biscuit. Can you give Charlie Bryce a 55 birthday, please? I can. Swamp Monster. The, there we go. There's a Hudson. We'll just send him doing the swanny. He's kind of sus as well. These guys always confess. It's called projection, guys. And if you get somebody coming on making a negative comment, they're actually making it about themselves. Yes, how about that? There we go. They will be repatriated. Geodog, that is fantastic. Thank you for letting us know. Uh, the Scottish Royal Mail vans and post boxes don't have ER2 on them. Uh, the Scottish Crown, no, they don't, Peter, because there was an incident and some halfwit actually vandalized one of them and it was dangerous. Do you know what I mean? There was a dangerous element to the nationalists at one point. You're about Scottish as Tom Jones. Thank you, John's not mad. But I think John is mad. Fantastic. I've been Scottish now for a long time. First Anglo-Boer War, circa 1881. 
And the next one, Geo Dog, because my grandfather was in it, and he had a badge for the Scottish horse, which said um, South South African War, um, nineteen one. I think it would be nineteen hundred. Would that be right? Uh, good night from Inverkip. Shuggy, we love Inverkip. Dinky do. Right, I'm off to get some sleep. Lerwick guy, bless you. And the wee one. And bless Glesney. So there we go. What do you make of the speech, Scrag? What are you talking about? Great to have you back. Thank you, Swamp Monster. Lovely to be back. And a big dinky do to you, I say. We've only got three minutes, guys. There we go. Who have we got here? Yes, absolutely. Martin Platt. Yes. Hello, Mr. Dinky. How are you tonight? Dinky do. Uh, cooking hot pot tomorrow. Good one, Greg. There we go. What do you think of the Scottish Socialist Party? Well, there's always been a kind of version of these things, but it never really takes off, to be honest with you. I think they've got too many rivals now. You've got the Nationalists themselves. You've got the Greens, you've got the Labour Party, you know what I mean? So uh, they've never really done what I would call big business. There we are. Please do the Dinky Doo song that when you are on TFM. Ah, yes. Yes, it did. I might do you the goodbye song if you like. Yes, I could do that. I'll do that for the TikTokers now. We're ready. <clears throat> goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A vita zain. Au revoir. And a cheerio. Night, night to you beautiful TikTokers. And dinky do from Scotty McClue. I'll see you all next Friday night, 10 o'clock sharp. Go on to Twitch, Scotty underscore McClue, and follow me and send everything with my clue on it round the internet. Dinky-doo and ta -la Right, that's our beautiful TikTokers. They've gone. Amazing stuff. We love them. So it's just ourselves left for the last couple of minutes. Fantastic. We love that. Now, let me just do a quick round robin and see what's happening here. Okay. Of course, 20th anniversary of 9-11. Incredible. Vaping is bad. Very, very bad. Vaping is very bad. Yes, indeed. All these things, smoking, all that, too much to drink. Not good. Right, I'm just going to check what's happening here, guys. And uh, wonderful, wonderful turnout out there. I'm going to check the Twitch account and see if uh, anybody has followed us tonight. Because we had about two followers when we started. And I noticed we had 60-something just the other day. Uh, wait till we see. 62. So, if you can follow me on Twitch, at Scotty underscore McClue. That would be just amazing. Follow me on Twitch, that'd be great. And if you can watch the live on Twitch, Right now, that would be great because we'll soon be able to make affiliate on it. That would be a terrific help, guys. And if you can spread the word when we're live, send round and send round and send round. That's what it's all about, I say. Uh, let's check out how things are on YouTube. Tremendous stuff. Right. Uh, if you're watching, can you go and subscribe on the YouTube channel, please? I need to have another half dozen subscribers. So six of you go and subscribe, please. Tremendous. That is very, very much appreciated. So there we go. Get subscribing on the YouTube channel. And, uh, of course, Facebook. Get sharing as much as you possibly can. Right, guys. We're out of time. I subscribed last night. Bless you, Greg. Um, ever, anyone ever been to the Red Wreck in Coronation Street? Does the red wreck exist in real life? This is Scotty McClure saying thank you so much for watching on tonight's phone in. What a fabulous program. Spread the word during the week. I'll see you all Friday night. This is Scotty McClure saying dinky-doo to every single one of you. ta -ra -las. <laughs>